This is Richie Rollins from Comic Spear and Sci-Fi, and we're at Pink's Hot Dogs down in Hollywood, California. And I'm sitting here with Richard, the owner. Richard, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good to see you. All right, can you give us a little background of this world-famous hot dog stand? Well, Pink's was opened in 1939, 77 years ago, by my parents, Paul and Betty Pink, and they borrowed $50 from my grandmother to buy a little hot dog cart. They were out of work and they needed something to do, so they found this ad for a hot dog cart, and then they found this site here at La Brea and Melrose that they rented for $50 a month, all right? And hot dogs at that time were 10 cents, Cokes were a nickel, and they didn't even have any electricity on the site, so they had to go out and buy a 100-yard extension cord in order to plug into a friendly neighbor's outlet, and that's how they fired up Pink's hot dog cart for two years, 1946, my parents got a little bit more money and they were able to build the hot dog stand that you see today. All right, so this is the original. It's absolutely authentic. And our, we opened up with just one hot dog, one hamburger, one tamale on the menu. And today we have 35 different kinds of hot dogs, 12 different kinds of burgers. One of the things I noticed when I got here wasn't just the celebrity pictures in the wall, but on your menu, you have hot dogs named after celebrities. Is that because that's what they usually get when they come here? Those celebrities created those hot dogs. Martha Stewart was in line here and she says, I gotta have a hot dog named after me on that menu. So she created the Martha Stewart dog. Giada De Laurentiis, a big chef, she was been coming here since she was 14 years old when she was in high school. And then when she became famous, she came back and said, I gotta create a hot dog. Emeril Lagasse, same thing. All those 250 celebrities that are on our wall, all of them have eaten at Pink's, but we try to, you know, add a new hot dog every month, something different, so people keep saying, oh, there's something new on the menu at Pink's, you know? And a lot of people have been eating here for, God, 50, 60 years. It's so heartwarming to see. All right, this is Richie from Comic Experience Sci-Fi, and you ever catch yourself in Hollywood, California, make sure to come down to the original location of Pink's.